Welcome back, you gorgeous weirdos. It is that time again for our annual top 10 products of 2023. I know that these products that I'm about to show you, you guys have seen probably a hundred thousand times. If you're new here, hi, I'm Marla Chris. I do nail content twice a week, every week, but we're going to kick this off with one of my faves of the year, which are the Sassy Mouth Gel products. I've been using these for what feels like forever. I don't know how I ever did without them. The gloss on this top coat is so freaking beautiful. The base coat applies like a dream. The matte top coat is ultra matte, not streaky, not rubbery feeling. And she also has a rubber base if that is something that you are into. But these gel products have been a fave of mine since they were launched. Okay, I lied since before they were launched and I was testing them all out. If you've not tried them yet, what are you even waiting for? They are HEMA free and you can use my affiliate code MARLA10 for 10% off at any time on anything on the site. This product right here is something you probably heard me preach about, the glass cuticle pusher and the glass nail file. I know I haven't talked much about the glass file, but I do use this in my natural nails, but the glass cuticle pusher has made such a difference in my nail prep game. It is so gentle. It gets up all that dead cuticle. And look how my nails have grown. Y'all, I have never had nails this long before in my life. <laughs> and I think it's because the prep that I'm doing is so gentle. I'm not using an e-file anymore. Not that there's anything wrong with an e-file. I use an e-file for a very long time. But I feel like for me at least, I tend to get a little heavy handed when I'm filing, whether it's with a hand file or an e-file. So the glass cuticle pusher is just super duper gentle. It doesn't take layers off my nail when I'm doing my prep work. It does a really good job of getting all that dead cuticle out from the nail, which makes your um, applications just last so much longer. They don't lift, they don't pop off. Highly, highly recommend. So the next product on my top 10 list is one that you've seen me use 100 million times also, the BT Art Box Adhesive Tabs, along with all my press-on nail supplies. I'm gonna lump them kind of into one category, but the tabs are elite in my eyes. Why? Because I can use a set of press-on nails that I have made over and over and over and over again, and not have to worry about doing a soak-off removal or filing off product or anything like that. I can wear them for a day, take them off, put them away, and then put them on the next day if I want to. I know I talked about this in a previous video, but why would you want a set of nails to last two weeks? They're going to get worn down. They're going to look like they need a refill at some point, you know, when the growth happens in the back of the nail. Press-ons have been such a game changer for me, especially these adhesive tabs. I never thought I would like them ever because I was a press-on girl back in the day. You remember in the like 90s, the way press-ons were? I was one of those girlies too and now it's come so far and they just look so dang good press-ons as y'all know have been my journey and i'm so here for it so speaking of press-ons if you want to wear press-ons for two weeks this is my holy grail press-on nail glue i don't know what the magic is in this product it is glue it is air dry it is not gel but it's thick and it fills in that gap between your natural nail and the press-on nail so perfectly. I use this. That's a lie. I don't. My girls use this. <laughs> My girls do press-on nails as well. All three of them. They use this to adhere their press-ons. And they last until they remove them. Which is usually two to three weeks later. It is soak-off friendly. They soak off in literally no time. They don't pop off. I love this nail glue so much. By the way, everything that I am mentioning in this video will be linked down below along with any discount codes I might have. So definitely check that out down below in the description box if you are shopping for anything for yourself or for a gift or for whatever. So again, press on nails. These have been a fave of mine, the Una Gel at Nail Extensions. They just have so many different options as far as sizes, shapes, lengths. I love the Una Jella nail tips. Love them so much. In the last hundred years that I've been doing nails, <laughs> in the last year that I've been doing press-ons, I have used a good bit of extensions, but these are the ones that I continue going back to. They 
they're just good. They're just good. So if you haven't tried them yet and you're into press-ons, definitely check those out. The next product, to no one's surprise, is the Azor Beauty Dip Liquids. I'm also going to do an honorable mention to the Sassy Mouth Dip Liquids, only because they're still so new. They only came out the end of this year, but they're so fabulous. If you really want a good dip base coat, dip activator, dip top, these two dip liquids, the Azor and the Sassy Mouth, they just apply like a dream. They're thin, they have a medium dry time, they're not advertised as having low odor, but I've never found them to have an offensive odor whatsoever. Again, everyone reacts to dip liquids differently. Just because I'm fine with them doesn't mean you will be or vice versa to any other product, but they have been the ones that I reach for every single time I do dip nails, and I will continue to reach for them because they are just that good. I'm an affiliate for Sassy Mouth, so if you want to use my discount code, you will save 10% and I will make a small commission and I super appreciate you. Plus, Sassy Mouth is a small biz. We all love to support small around here, so definitely check those out down below. So the next product, speaking of Sassy Mouth, is going to be the Whipped Cream Glow Kini. This dip powder, y'all. I have been reaching for this many, many, many times over the last year. It is the same formula as the whipped cream bikini that I have created with Sassy Mouth and we love so much, but it's the glow version. And this glow is literally insane. I have used this for so many manicures, underneath colors, underneath gel, and that glow is so powerful. It just shines right through. If you're a glow girl, this glow dip powder is definitely for you. You can do so much with it. You can use it for so many different things. It's just so versatile. This is one you definitely need to have in your arsenal and your collection. So the next product we're going to talk about is Model 1s. We're going to talk about their gel polishes and their dip powders and acrylic powders because these have quickly grown to become some of my favorites. They are staples in my collection. They are products that I reach for time and time and time again because they are consistent. I have rarely found a product that is consistent. I can use it over and over and over again. I know it's going to be a breeze. I know it's going to be a flawless application because I've used some dip powders and gel polishes in the past that gave me a run for my money. They're just, they streaky. They, they don't lay well. They don't play nice with other products. They, they're stressful to use. And for me, I prefer products that I can use and enjoy using. I don't want to be stressed out doing my nails. This is my me time. This is my self-care. I, I want it to be a pleasant experience. And the Model 1's dip powders and gel polishes have been just that for me. They make doing my nails so much more relaxing and enjoyable. And that is why I keep reaching for them time and time and time again. They're on Amazon. They are very, very affordable in, in my personal opinion compared to some other products that I've used. So if you're in the market for some new gels or some new acrylics, yes, you can use acrylic as dip powder. I've done it many, many, many times. They all work the same. Essentially, it's the same product. But I would highly recommend you dabbling with Model 1's products because they are phenomenal. So I think that about wraps up my top 10 of 2023. I can't believe another year has come and gone. Thank you guys for your continued love and support. I hope you have an amazing, happy, and healthy, and safe new year. And I will catch you next year. Love you. Bye.